I think Americans understand we have to have change. I think that until it begins, uh, however, when it becomes personal to them, as, like any change, uh, it begins to uh, be more difficult. But uh, I think Americans understand that the system is going to change and, and they're buckling their chin strap to see how it'll affect them. The areas that I'm focused on now are essentially how can we drive more quickly uh, the, the concept of measuring value, not volume. And that isn't controversial any longer, but the implementation of it is, uh, does begin to drive a lot of change that people are uncomfortable with. The parable of buses, taxis, and limos basically says, look, there's a lot of ways to get from point A to point B, and after all, what we're after is transportation. In healthcare, after all, what we're looking for is good quality care. Uh, the setting in which we get it, how how fancy it is or how, uh, or how comfortable it is uh, in the context of convenience, it, it may be that some people will say, look, I'm prepared to have a narrower network of choices for a lower premium. Um, we've seen that begin to happen already. Uh, those are choices that consumers can make. It, they, they make them in every other area and they can make it in, in health care as well. I think the big change of the future is that we're going to start to value both of those, cost and quality, uh, as opposed to simply um, having access to uh, unlimited amounts of care. There are four basic uh, entities or types of entities that I think are making uh, competitive entries in the market. There are obviously hospital-driven, doctor-driven, insurance company-driven, and a new group that I call strategic aggregators. These are unlikely entries into the market. Uh, people like Walgreens and, and uh, CVS uh, who have footprints on almost every corner and are beginning to turn parts of their retail stores uh, into care centers. And I think we'll begin to see them play a much more pronounced and perhaps prominent role. All four of those types of entities are looking to become what I refer to as the general contractor in medicine. I think that's the struggle that's happening. We're now moving into a period where care is going to have to be much better coordinated and the question becomes, in a coordinated environment, who is the general contractor and who is a subcontractor and who's bearing the risk? And that's being redefined in every medical market in the country. The, no one has all of the competencies that are required. If we would look back 25 years and we looked at uh, industries like the restaurant business uh, or the hotel business, um, there were lots of independent hotels and restaurants. And now we have Marriott and Hilton and brands we know. Uh, I think healthcare will always be local, but I do think we'll begin to see healthcare, particularly primary care, begin to consolidate into a series of brands that we're better familiar with and that will compete on a more national or regional basis. Uh, I'm probably more optimistic today that we're actually getting a handle on the problems of healthcare than I've been for some time. Um, because hard things are beginning to happen. People are having to make choices. Uh, they're working with certainty to uh, get a handle on their costs. And that's not easy. Uh, it's hard. But hard things are happening, and because hard things are beginning to happen, my optimism goes up.